Freddie, Grand Slam, walk off in a World Series game. Yeah. Where does that moment rank for you? Oh, I don't know. Again, that's uh, that stuff you are five years old in the backyard right there. And that, that's a dream come true, but that's only one. We got three more. Going up to the plate against Cortez, what's on your mind? First pitch. time for the heater um, it's all you can try and do be a, you know, the heater closer to you try and push leave the cutter and slider away and I was on time for the heater now it was nice you didn't have to run hard uh, how was your ankle you legged out a triple earlier in the game yeah I actually felt pretty good um, the last six days we treated it really well I've been feeling pretty good so right when I ran out to give uh, high fives tonight to my teammates, I felt pretty good because that was the first time I ran all week. So, uh, ankle's good. You ran over to your dad yeah. after hitting that home oh, run. Yeah. What did you say to him? Oh, I was just screaming in his face. I'm sorry, Dad. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's been there since I was a little boy, throwing batting practice to me every day. So, this isn't my moment. That's my dad's moment. It's been such a tough year for you, physically, yeah. off the field with your son. Freddie, how gratifying is it just to get this done for your team? Yeah, pretty gratifying. Um, this ranks up there pretty high. Uh, it's pretty incredible. So it's been a long three months, but these fans here, when I came back that first game, they showed, the, showed love. I'm just glad I was able to reciprocate tonight. Freddie, congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Yeah, that was pretty unbelievable. One of the greatest World Series games you'll ever see here at Dodger Stadium is still buzzing. Fans don't want to leave after the walk-off Grand Slam by Freddie Freeman, the first ever walk-off Grand Slam in World Series history. And only one other time down to the final out of the team at a walk-off winner like that. That was Kirk Gibson at 88 with the Dodgers. Dave Roberts is here with the guys. Do you believe what just happened, Dave? <laughs> Man, I, I, KB, I cannot believe what just happened. Um, you know, that's what makes the fall classic a classic, right? Because the stars come out and superstars make big plays, get big hits in the biggest of moments, and two outs, bases loaded. They bring on the lefty, and uh, Freddie, as we know, has been ailing over the last few weeks. But to come up with, I mean, you could probably argue that might be one of the biggest hits he's ever had in his 2,200-hit career. Uh, I, I'm speechless right now. I tell you, Freddie's something else. We've been singing his praise all October. Somewhere above, Vince Scully is, you know, smiling above us. But talk about this moment. Freddie, no no extra base hits in October. Tonight, the triple and a home run. And first of all, did that triple scare you a little bit? First, yeah, <laughs> the triple definitely scared me. Look at Mookie right there. Hey. My dog. Hey, I need to get a dog shirt. Where's my dog shirt? Right. <laughs> oh, I need to get a dog shirt, Mo. Boom. No, so. Boom. Tunnel, tunnel. Hey, there we go. Yeah, there we go. We are play. Put it on, dog. <laughs> no, so you know what? Uh, yeah, I would have liked to stand up double right there, but Freddie's a baseball player. And I do always say, you know what? The game honors you. You do things the right way. You're a great teammate. You play the game the right way. Great things happen. And there's no better example than Freddie Freeman. And tonight, the game honored him. Hey, dog, congratulations on the win tonight. Listen, when you had three MVP lined up, one back to back to back, as a pitcher, only God can save you. We've been talking about Freddy. I mean, watch this home run right here. I want you to take me through this right here. All right, so Shohei had the same pitch, right? Mm -hmm. First pitch heater, pops it up to left field. Freddy's on the gas. Ouch. And you know, Poppy, that's like the left, the lefty sweet spot, right? That down in the sweet spot, and he got the head to it and kept it fair and put a good swing on it. Are you having fun yet? Not yet, Jeets. You know what? Uh, I'll tell you this, man. If you can't have fun, something like this, then I better find a different job. So, But you know what? I'm, I'm just happy for the fans. I'm happy for the players. And certainly ha happy for Freddie. And it's funny. It's like, I understand this is still game one. But just kind of how we backdoor those guys. We snatched them. Uh, we used our leverage guys. They used their leverage guys. So it was a huge win. Now, we can, go ahead. Go ahead, Jeet. Now, just tell me about this team. I mean, you guys are down there late. The Yankees seem like they're rolling. The team never gives up. Talk to me about the resilience you guys have in the fight 
I mean, it, it's unbelievable because if you look at tonight, Garrett had good stuff. He threw the baseball well. Uh, he minimized traffic, minimized damage. But we had a couple opportunities situationally that we didn't cash in on. But no one hung their heads. We kept trying to grind, take good at bats, and you know, even it's going it's not going to get it's going to get lost in the box score. But Tommy Edmonds' base hit to stay flat through the middle to get uh, Mookie up to bat to then ultimately, you know, get Freddie up to bat. It's big. I'm going to go before that eighth inning. You're down in this game. Otani comes up and just smashes one and gets you guys going. Just you guys get a lot of MVPs, right? So it's not one guy, but when your best player steps up and does that, tell me about the fuel that it gives to the rest of the dugout. No, it does. It's big. I mean, and Shawnee hit that ball hard, got second base, got to third base. But even to your point about the superstars, Mookie uh, infield back, hits a ball hard. Jazz makes a great play. Mm -hmm. And instead of getting disheartened, frustrated, a little tight with the bat, his next at bat, he had a situation about again, mm -hmm. stayed down, rode it out, drove in a run, which was huge. So all those little things, you know, make an impact. Uh, wow. Take a breath, Dave. Enjoy this one, baby, because that was fun. We'll do it again tomorrow, all right? Hey, let's do it again tomorrow. Sign me up, baby. Dave Roberts, what Mondo. a win for his Mondo. Dodgers. Hey, there you go. My show. All that up, baby. All that up. My show. There you go, baby. <laughs> He's got the My Dog t-shirt. There you go. Dodgers epic win, 6-3, to three, the walk-off Grand Slam. Mookie Betts, you were just part of an instant classic. What do you think this game told the baseball world tonight about the Los Angeles Dodgers? Uh, we're fighters. Uh, you got to play 27 outs to, to beat it sometimes more. Um, but really, I think uh, I think it shows how, how united we are. Um, I mean, I, I love these boys, and I, I'm glad that we got to uh, go through a battle like that and really just I, I love loving on these guys, man. I love being here, and I'm just happy that I got to be a part of, a, a like you said, an instant classic. Somebody's always got your back on this team. In this case, you were intentionally walked. Tell me what you thought about having Freddie behind me, you, and then what you saw. Uh, I mean, you know, Freddie's won MVP, and he's won batting titles, and he's won all that. So, I mean, at that point, you kind of pick your poison, and I, under I definitely understand, but... You know, hitting, hitting behind Freddie or hitting in front of Freddie these last couple of years, I know he does damage and he did tonight. Congratulations. What a game. Yes, we'll sir, see you tomorrow. You. Yes, sir. Thank you.